Chief Meteorologist Glenn Richards has it for you. Glenn. All right, yeah, it looks like Irma, brand new information just in. Still Cat 5, still winds 185 miles per hour. They had some gusts earlier as reconnaissance planes were flying through it of over 212 miles per hour. At one time, a gust up to 220. So, again, this is right now the most powerful hurricane with wind speed ever in the Atlantic. There it is. Located still a long way away from us. It still has plenty of time to kind of meander, weaken, and it looks like it is going to do some weakening. So here's the latest view, just a giant buzzsaw, going to hit the northern end of the Lesser Antilles, work its way eventually back over into areas around Puerto Rico, but the center is going to pass to the north of Puerto Rico. They will, will get into the core of the wind, but they will not have the strongest winds. They will be on the weak Side. The visible satellite imagery, just as the sun is getting a little bit lower on the horizon, really showing the eye right there of Irma, an impressive system. No wind shear to weaken it, so it does remain strong. Right now, hurricane warnings are in effect only for the Puerto Rico and also for the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Right now, this system, again, is westbound. Winds are 185 miles per hour. Remember, the most inaccurate portion of all these forecasts has always been, for all of these years, the intent. So that's the reason why this thing is really ramped up, even though the computer models didn't pick up on that. West wind right now at 15. Here's what the current models are indicating. Notice they're still very tightly packed. That really hasn't changed right through the Bahamas, just to the north of Cuba. Now, there has been a little bit of a shift there. I'll talk more about it in just a bit. But they all still do turn this system right up over Florida, either along the west coast or right up the middle or right along the east coast. There's so still some uncertainty there. Here's the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center. Again, brand new, showing the winds at 180 as we get into Wednesday, as we go through Thursday, starting to weaken a little bit with 165. Due to the islands, the mountainous terrain across Hispaniola and Cuba, winds of 155. Now, this is the only little change that I noticed. Notice the forward movement and the location is just a little farther south. Instead of up here, out over the open waters, the center could actually move ashore along northern Cuba. That would actually help us out and maybe weaken the system a little bit more. But still, look at the turn coming up towards Florida. Wind still 140 miles per hour. Even if it does some weakening, this is still going to be a major hurricane moving over central Florida. It has an area still to even get stronger over the next 24 to 36 hours at first. And then long term, it should uh, start to weaken a little bit. Right now, just some breezy conditions locally. We'll talk much more about the other computer models. Where will the system go across Central Florida uh, overall, and what could we expect locally with wind and rain? More on that coming up.